Hey folks, this video will visualize the annual cycle of stratospheric polar vortex changes using the Earth Wind map. We will use simply the wind overlay, only at the stratospheric levels in which we are most interested, and we're going to look at January 21st of 2014. North winter, southern summer. At this time, the website we're using was only days old, and people began to marvel at their ability to visualize the Earth system even up through the stratosphere while the northern vortex was powerful. The southern vortex was not discernible and actually appeared weaker in February. But we're going to jump ahead further. At the top, the date within the URL can be manipulated and as one becomes three, we're in March. The equinox, we notice that the northern flow is slightly weakened and divided, while the southern hemisphere appears to begin to gain a vortex of its own. We're going to manipulate the dates one final time to come to April northern spring and southern fall, and the southern vortex is now a major stratospheric flow. At this time the northern vortex is weakening, and when we see our first July in the life of the wind map, the reversal will be complete. Note the delay in vortex response as extreme high or low force occurs shortly after the solstice, and the torch is passed between hemispheres shortly after the equinox. They go back and forth like this, with strength coming in the colder months for that hemisphere. The cause is a topic of discussion for another day, and a point of controversy between mainstream and new electrical theorists. Be safe everyone.